Well, James, here is one thing that I want to be able to say. And I think we need to begin to educate maybe a little bit more because for whatever reason, there's this myth blowing around that Joe Burrow should take less or that a player, any player, should take less in order for the team to do business. It's just not a thing. It's just not, it's not, it's not, it's not a thing. Like players at some point in their career, and when we talk about where Higgins is, where Chase is about to be, and where Burrow is, you spend your whole life working to get to where you either can hit the free market or where your team is gonna gonna pay you market that fair market value, right? And none of us, and I don't care what industry we're in, that we get work our whole lives to get to that optimal point in the marketplace where you, where we're where we're looking to be used as a coupon, right? <laughs> to to, uh, to get below market value. Um, I do think it's important that the fan base know that the team can't afford a good team. You're not going to have a perfect team. I don't. I think our that's where we're at now in the National Football League. There are no perfect teams. Every team, even if you look at, say, the Kansas City Chiefs, who've won back-to-back Super Bowls, they've had holes in the roster, right? No doubt. They, they've no had doubt. areas. Where they've got guys who can't catch the ball, and they still want it. You know, they another year, they may have young secondary members who actually got it, who actually outperformed their where they were drafted. So, um that's where we're at right now. When you have a salary cap and you have free agency, if you're looking to form the perfect roster and thinking you ask your quarterback to give back, to take less so that the team can do its business. I mean, that's speaking more to the emotion and the players are about their business. The coaches are about their business. The organization is about their business. Everyone is optimizing their opportunities economically. 